guys, Pat Stitt here and I am Grounds for Life. I'm back here in Scotts Hill just outside of Wilmington, North Carolina where just a few weeks ago we built this outdoor shower. Now I know it's a little loud, we're back here working on the shower. Right now we're using a little tractor to try to get this sand and pea gravel off the back of this truck here. But as you can see there's the shower and the roof is on and it looks great. It really came out nice. I'm going to have more shots and pictures of that and all the process of getting that done because I didn't do it. Mandy's dad, Roger from Tennessee, has a lot of experience with doing this kind of stuff and he came through and put that roof on and did it all and man, it came out so nice. I'm so excited about this project. What I'm gonna be doing today is helping with getting the floor in this thing so we can call it done and completed. So I'm gonna turn this camera around real quick, take a look at what these guys are doing and we'll get on to building this thing, this outdoor shower. guys you can see back there Rick with his little tractor is scooping up some sand and what we've done is we want the inside of the shower to be just right so if the camera will pick it up let me turn it let me turn it around if you can see where we've dug the floor out right there all through the back to where the shower is now I hope that picked that up what we're trying to do is get that filled with sand and then we got another uh, one of those bags of pea gravel so it'll drain properly so it won't turn into a big mud hole and stuff like that so we're going to get busy putting sand in there fill it with pea gravel then we're going to get measurements for what needs to be put down we got to go to the store still and get the lumber the wood screws and all the materials for it and we'll go from there
All right, guys, we've been working on this thing the last couple hours. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see, but right there behind me, you can see where the floor is all framed up on the inside and the sand and pea gravel is on the inside and it's, it's all leveled out nice and smooth. Now, what I got in my hand here is a, is a composite deck board. It's the same as a deck board, but it's made of plastic. We scored some of these off of Rick, who's been helping us out big time out here. Thanks, Rick. But we scored these uh, composite deck boards, and we're going to run these where the shower is to try to keep down on slipping, because like how wood gets really slippery sometimes. We'll run these in the, starting in the shower as far back as we can, and then we'll switch over to just regular deck boards that we picked up from Lowe's today. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys exactly how far we've gotten so far. All right, guys, I got the camera turned around and you can really see what this thing is now. There's a roof on it, there's walls on it. When you look down here at the bottom, it's all framed in now and you can see right there where the water comes into this thing to feed the shower. You can even see the shower head right over there that just peeks over the top of that wall. So now I want to get a good shot because I want you to see exactly what we got here. While I walk in, the floor is all framed out where the decking boards are going to go across now. This pea gravel is in here. So this pea gravel is in here so we don't have to worry about uh, like mud. This thing turning into a giant mud hole or, or sand washing off everybody and, and turning into a big sand pit. So. We're gonna start right there with the composite deck boards. You can see the shower already in. Start right, right there with the composite deck boards, run them back as many as we have, and then switch over to the regular deck boards to finish it out, and this thing will be done. guys check this out we're over here we're working on the shower we're over here in a beautiful neighborhood as you can see behind me and in, in the area around me Rick that's been working with us helping us out just showed up with his new big boy toy he's got a cool golf cart here like a cool off-road golf cart this thing is so cool I want to flip this camera around real quick so we can take a look at it all right guys this is a brand new it's like an off-road golf cart, man. It's pretty cool. It's really extreme for being a golf cart. It's got an off-road suspension and some off-road tires, some cool rims and a little bit of a lift on it. It's got the back seat, turns into a work truck bed if you want to. Man, the inside is all tricked out. Speedometer and gauges and everything. This thing is awesome. 
all the chrome and diamond plate stuff seats in the kids or seat in the back for the kids to ride on man my kids would absolutely love this thing i'll tell you what we'll go talk to rick see if he'll take us for a little ride on this thing guys as we look here behind me we can see man this thing is all done the floor is in it the roof is done the water is connected and everything I'm gonna walk over here I'm gonna turn the camera around so we can get a shot man this thing came out so good I'm so happy to have been a part of this project as we walk up to it we can see the roof is all done the wood boards start here and then as we round the corner it turns into composite boards where the shower is got some hooks on the wall and possibly a bench and everything to go in on this corner here let me turn this around to make sure we're picking this up and then i'm gonna see if i can real quick like how about that full shower right there I don't want to run it too long because I don't want to make a mess because we're still going to, the guys are still going to landscape the outside of this. But man, this thing is all done. And from the time that we came up with this idea until right now, it's probably been, well, I don't know. We actually talked about this probably earlier in the year. So it's been a work in progress for a while. And we've been working on this about once a week for the last four or even five weekends. So man, I'm so happy 
to have this done. Now, I need to thank Billy Jakowski for all his hard work on this. I need to thank Jeremy Marshburn and Mandy Marshburn. Jeremy, for all your help and all your friendship. Mandy, for taking care of us while we're over here working on this thing. I need to thank Rick Haywood for looking out for us, helping us with problem solving, bringing us tools, giving us materials and all that stuff. And also, Rick, love that cool little car, man. That thing is awesome. I also need to thank Roger Childress. Roger Childress is the guy that was working with us today. That's Mandy's dad. And man, he brought his expertise to the job, got the roof on, all done and nice. And of course we got the floor in all together. This has been one of those jobs that I just love to do because I'm working with great people in just a beautiful area, just having fun and doing the type of stuff that we like to do, building stuff like this beautiful outdoor shower that's sitting behind me right now. So I also wanna take this opportunity guys to say that the season is closing now. Season one is coming to an end. When I drove out here this morning, man, the it was so cool that I had to run the heater in the truck on the way down here. That means it's slowing down big time for a groundskeeper. And so what that means for me is that I'll be taking more time off. I won't be pushing it so hard like I do when we're in season and I'll be posting videos. I'll drop down to maybe once every two weeks, maybe even once a month as we get into the holiday season. But be looking for me, make sure you're subscribed so you catch all the updates and everything that goes on during the off season. Cause like I said, I will still be posting videos. It's just gonna slow down a little bit so I can take some time off for myself. So we're all done guys. One more time for the season. I wanna encourage you to support local farmers. It's so important during this time with the pandemic going on and everything to get into your area and support local farmers that are in your area. They really need your help. And remember, you can always support local farmers by doing something as simple as going by your local farmer's market and making a purchase this weekend. Guys, thanks so much for watching throughout the season. All the people that I've made friends with and communicated with that have supported me and encouraged me to keep making these videos and stuff like that. I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. It's been a really fun season, season one with it coming to cl a close, but I'm already excited about season two coming up in the spring of next year, guys. So till next time, I'm Pat Stitt and I'm Grounds for Life.